What's up guys? Welcome back to the Sundown Audio unofficial YouTube channel. It's another episode of Woofer Test Wednesday and I got a special treat for y'all today. It's a prototype version of our SD4 8 inch subwoofer. This will not be the production run, it's just a prototype. Just showing off a few of the different things we're going to do on this model. <clears throat> all new gasket up here, all new cone, surround assembly. So this being our SD model, it is a shallow mount design. We have a total mounting depth of about four and three quarter inches. This could change on the production model, but it's meant for big base in a small space. So you got a low mounting depth. We have a solid back plate on the motor, so you can mount this in a very short enclosure. You don't have to worry about any rear clearance, any breathing of any gap vents, anything, any pole vents. This is meant for small sealed enclosures. Changed up the surround design on top to give you plenty of clearance. You only need one inch of clearance in front of the mounting gasket here. This is an underhung design for great SQ very linear sound overstroke. So uh, now that you've checked it out all the way around, let me get it hooked up. We're going to play it free air here on the test bench. Let y'all see what kind of excursion this thing can do. Hey guys, I'm going to bump that volume up a couple clicks, try and get in here tight with the camera. Really show y'all how it moves. Trying to hold it still a little bit, it makes everything on the table shake. So I'm gonna run that through one more time for y'all. guys let me know what y'all think is this something you would be interested in perfect for behind the seats of your pickup truck underneath the rear seats of your crew cab if you want to take up a tiny amount of space in the trunk of your car or in the back of your hatchback these are perfect for that small sealed enclosure very shallow mounting depth not much space needed on the top this is the SD4 prototype. I think there'll still be some big changes between this and the production model. Looking at completely changing the motor design. So let me know in the comments what you think of this. Remember, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, click that thumbs up button, give us a like, ring the bell for notifications, subscribe, share. Until next time, guys. We'll see y'all then. Thank you.